OK, Peter, so this is the new thermal imaging camera, the GTC400C. If you look here, you can see the small battery adapter. Cool. And here you also have the option of working with our 12-volt system. We have a really robust housing with IP rating, and then there is also the extremely sturdy keypad. OK. This here is the real image camera, and this here is the infrared sensor. The connection for the micro USB cable is on the side. So that's for connecting up to the computer. Exactly. And when it comes to documentation, I'd recommend making use of the Bosch Measuring Master app. You'll then also be able to make further edits to data if needed. So, Joachim, we're looking to modernize the whole house, so I need to check every room for thermal bridges. I'll pass the GTC over to you. First, you need to open up the protective guard on the front. Here? This flap needs to go up. Up. Exactly. Then the lens is exposed, and then you turn the device on here. OK. The camera will start up now, and it doesn't take very long at all. And then you're ready to point the camera at your roller shutter box and start scanning. Press the large red button at the front. At the front? Yes. And then you'll have a record of your measurement results. Now it's really easy to view the results, and you can even zoom in on a real image by pressing this button here. This one? That's right. Press the arrow button here and you'll see the real image. That way it'll be easier for you to show your customer where exactly you measured. Here in the bathroom, I've installed underfloor heating, and I'd like to use the device to check that it's all working properly. No problem. Just start the device up, and there you can already see the heating on the display. Then we'll quickly use the Wi-Fi hotspot to send the documentation over to our Bosch Measuring Master app. Now, Joachim, you might be getting a whiff of something here. There's a problem with damp in the walls. You can see it in this corner, for example. Oh, yes. So now you know what to do. First, we get scanning, and then we can look at the results. The most important thing now is that you can see the coldest point in the image here. It's very clearly a different color in the temperature display, too. But then you can also see the temperature around this point in the wall, which allows you to make a comparison.